Hi, I am a guidance counselor at St. John Catholic High School. My name is Sasha Warner, and this video is to help you uh, choose courses for your child who's going from grade eight into grade nine. Okay, as your child goes into grade nine, um, an important thing to know is that in grade nine, we take eight courses. We take four first semester and four second semester. Uh, on the screen, you'll see a sample timetable that a child might have in grade nine. Um, if you wanna pause the video, you can take a look at our day because it has the different um, timestamps of how long courses are. Um, but yeah, the important thing to know is that there are four courses um, from September until January, and then four courses from February until June. So when we head into grade nine, we are choosing between two different levels. You could choose de-streamed for your child or locally developed um, level courses for your child. If you have older students, you might remember academic and applied and locally developed as being three options. In the last couple years, um, the ministry has uh, implemented de-streaming in many of the courses that are offered in grade nine. So that is a shift. If you have older students, it might not look the same. Um, so de-streaming, uh, the de-streamed level courses uh, lead to applied and academic courses in grade 10, and then in grade 11 and 12, those lead to uh, college and university level courses. Uh, the locally developed uh, courses in grade 10, it's also locally developed, and then in grade 11 and 12, those students would be on a workplace level um, pathway. So um, most students uh, that come to St. John are choosing de-streamed going into grade nine. Um, de-streamed focuses on um, theoretical and then also applications of the theories. Sometimes there's a little more abstract thinking happening. Uh, the locally developed courses focus on very concrete concepts, um, working on those essential skills. Um, and uh, sometimes a little bit of remediation that leads to more confidence for a student. And again, both students are choosing D-Stream uh, going into grade nine. If uh, your student uh, should be choosing locally developed, your, your student's teacher should be reaching out to you to let you know. And if you're not sure, the best person to ask is your student's grade eight teacher. They know your student well and they'll know what is best for them. Um, a lot of people like to think into the future. We really try and focus on grade nine, but we do have a handy dandy checklist. If you um, need it at our school, you can always reach out to us and ask for that. And it has all the compulsories on it that they need to achieve by the time they get to grade 12. Um, if you take a look at our checklist, you'll see that um, they'll need English, math, science, geography, and French and religion in grade nine. In addition, there's a tech credit that they're going to need to take in grade nine or 10, so we're rec recommending in grade nine. And then sometime before they graduate, they need a phys ed credit and an arts credit. That can be postponed until later in their career. Okay, so I went through that a little fast in the last slide. So let's um, sit here for a moment and really talk about what your child needs for grade nine. Um, so every student in Catholic schools takes a religion. So that's uh, the first compulsory of seven. The second compulsory would be math. And in math, you're choosing uh, between the streamed and uh, essentials. English, same thing. You're choosing between the streamed and essential. Science. Same thing, de-streamed or essential. And like I said before, most students are going into the de-streamed. You, you'd be choosing the 1L. Uh, then for geography, um, your child is choosing either uh, English or French geography. So if your student is coming from the elementary immersion program and plans to continue in the extended French program, at high school, there are two French courses they need to take in grade nine to start on that bundle of courses uh, that will help them achieve uh, their French certificates at the end of high school. 
So the two French courses that they would take are obviously French, but then the second one is they would take geography in French. Okay, so if your child fits into that category, they would be making sure they choose um, French geography. Everyone else is uh, choosing de-streamed uh, English geography. For French, French is a compulsory credit. Um, so for French, the options are um, extended academic French, which is the FEF. That is for our students coming from immersion. There is the de-streamed core, which is FSF. So if your child is not coming from immersion, they would choose the FSF. Um, and then there is a small asterisk. If your child has an IEP, and in that IEP, um, it recommends they really work on learning skills and language, then we do have um, learning strategy. And so uh, that is GLS10. And they take that their first semester instead of taking French. So they're French exempt because of their IEP. And, and they take that course one, um, one period a day for their first semester to help them with their transition into high school. And then also, um, you know, work on those learning strategies and uh, a little bit of liter literacy, a little bit of numeracy um, to make sure they have a successful start to their high school. Um, the other thing to just mention, going back to um, uh, the core versus extended French, if your child is coming from French immersion, even if they're not sure they want to continue with the um, extended French program, we highly recommend that they take extended French, um, the FEF, their first semester, uh, and then and then decide from there if they're going to continue on with extended French. But if they're coming from immersion, they do want to, even if they're not going to continue with extended French, they want to be in the FEF 1D. That's the right spot for them. Now, the last compulsory, so we've covered six compulsories, religion, math, English, science, geography, and French. The last one is new um, in 2024-2025. Uh, that is all students must take a technology class uh, in grade nine or 10. Um, our goal is for students to take that in grade nine. So we are asking grade nines to choose what tech they would like to take. And they do have some choice within that. The three techs that we have available to grade nines are construction technology or also known as shop. Um, TCJ is how that code starts. Communications technology, which is working on computers with, uh, uh, you know, they might be doing some Photoshop, some video editing, um, anything that has to do with computers and communications. That's, that's the kind of skills they're building in that class. So that's communications technology. TGJ is that code. And then there's also hospitality. Um, some kids call that foods or cooking. Um, that's also a technology credit, and that is TFJ. So they're choosing one of those three um, so that they can satisfy their that new technology requirement from the ministry. Okay. Okay, as you may recall from one of my earlier slides, um, students take eight credits in grade nine, four first semester, four second semester. And so far, we've covered seven compulsory credits that they have to take. Um, so that leaves one additional credit that they can choose. Uh, we have students choose three additional credits. Um, the idea being that hopefully they will get their first choice, but we want to have two alternate um, just in case, depending on, um, you know, course availability and where it fits with their tech that they want to take, um, they might not get their first choice. So we want to have three options there. So um, options include arts. Uh, and remember, you have to take an arts before you graduate high school. So if you want to, you know, do it right off the bat in grade nine, you can. Our options are visual arts, drama, or instrumental music. Uh, if they would like to take a phys ed credit, we have two different types of phys ed credits. So we have healthy active living. Um, that's 
that's the one that happens in the gym on sports. It's what people usually think of when they think of um, phys ed. So, you know, if you want to be doing badminton, basketball, volleyball, soccer, all those sports, you're going to choose the PPL, healthy active living. PPL is the start of that code. If you are wanting or your child is wanting to do fitness in our weight room and be learning about cardio, how to use um, gym equipment properly and focusing more on individual um, development, uh, then they would choose fitness activities uh, whose course code starts with PAF. Okay, so you're choosing PPL or PPF, or sorry, PPL or PAF, um, depending on your preference, if you would like to take a phys ed. And then again, you can um, sign up uh, for more technology. So uh, again, we have construction, we have com tech, which is computers, or we have cooking. So if you're watching this in real time, uh, 2024, uh, registrations are due February 16th and course selections are due at that time too. You will have your students give their registration form and their course selection sheet to their classroom teacher. Even if your student attends St. John at the intermediate wing in the same building, they are two separate schools, so we still require a registration form. And again, that if you're watching this in real time, deadline is Friday, February 16th. If your student is um, from out of board, so doesn't go to a CDSBEO school, you have one additional step you need to do. If you could Google CDSBEO registration, that will take you to a, a website um, to register. There's a link there to register um, through the school board because you're coming from a different school board. Okay. So if you're coming from one of our school board schools, you just need those two forms that are on the slide there um, and, and give those to your classroom teachers and we move forward from there. As always, to keep up to date on what's going on, we, we would love for you to follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Um, our principal, Madame Michaud, does a wonderful job keeping um, parents up to date using those methods. So. Uh, you know, our handles are there. We hope you'll you'll join us on the interwebs. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I am Sasha Warner, and you can see my email address there. My colleague and fellow guidance counselor, Tiffany Dau, can also help you out. And our guidance secretary is Erin Truhas, and she um, can help you out with any registration paperwork or questions you might have with that. Um, I can see my talking head is blocking our phone number. So it's 613-267-4724. And if you want to go right to student services and guidance, the extension is 117. Hey, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope this has been helpful for you.